गुड मॉर्निंग अरुण गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग निशा गुड मॉर्निंग डॉक्टर गीता डॉक्टर डॉक्टर मोहन सिंधरम आई कैन सी इट्स पीपल दोज सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन एज पर आवर रूटीन वी आर अगेन स्टार्टिंग अगेन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द सीरीज नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द सीरीज इज बाय डॉक्टर प्रीति आर सांगवी uh we all know uh, almost everyone those who have must have attended but for the newcomers or the young generation if they don't know then just to introduce dr preeti uh dr preeti is uh, head of the palliative medicine department of uh, gcri uh, amdavad and nodal officer of sushruta cancer care and research institute rajkot she has got 26 years of teaching experience in gcri and uh, previously she was in the department of anesthesia now she is heading the department of palliative medicine after dr geeta joshi uh, she is a member of advisory committee for implementation of ndps act at gujarat by government of gujarat <clears throat> she is also an editor of international journal of oncological nursing and course course coordinators of various uh, courses which are going on in india uh, in the, uh, with respect to palliative medicine is life member of many important organizations which uh, are important in india as well as in world she has got more than 35 publication and various projects they are doing and mainly their project is uh, uh, basically related with the radio frequency ablation of spino palatal ganglion in head and neck cancer pain and also they are the, they, uh, their group is doing the point prevalence of dyspnea quality in effect of dyspnea management in ambulatory patients first of all i know dr priti since last uh, many many years and i have always found her very balanced very calm and quiet person and uh, she uh, always has helped uh, us in the iit matters as well as i think she was uh, uh, she was uh, definitely helping dr geeta sis in development of palliative medicine department at gcri so together they have made a very brilliant department as well as brilliant setup in terms of palliative medicine so dr priti uh, you can start and we, we, we everyone is waiting to hear you everyone can keep their like questions in the chat box arun will sort it out and we will answer it at the end of the this thing thank you very much dr priti please go and start uh, good morning everyone and thank you very much uh, soswa madam uh, first of all i will wish you all wish you all ladies of uh, this group happy women's day today is uh, women's day uh, coming to my page just a minute i is it visible visible is visible yeah visible yeah. Uh, so today's my topic is on practical aspect of setting up palliative care department in teaching institute um topic will cover two main point uh, 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 what has been done so far Uh, how we have set up palliative care department in teaching institute and what has been done so far in gujarat and second the pro, uh, application process to start uh, palliative medicine uh, gujarat cancer and research institute it is a state cancer institute one of the largest institute uh, cancer care center of the country it is academic institute affiliated to bj medical college notable hello yes various options for hospital based palliative care services are outpatient palliative care service uh, palliative care consultation service for hospital in patient a palliative care day care services in patient palliative care unit a hospice based or own care services most of the this services has been discussed in previous lecture you can also find the planning and implementation of a palliative care services a guide for program management uh, which is published by the who in 2016 uh, coming to the how we have started our department at gcri uh, the 
palliative care was uh, initiated in uh, Gujarat in 1980 with uh, um, opening of a pain clinic. Then we have started uh, established hospice care center in 1988, which was managed by the Department of Anesthesiology. In 2010, we have started a separate palliative care OPD as a part of Jeev Daya project. We were given OPD in afternoon hours when all other OPDs were over. Uh, at that time, we have uh, started by the two to five patients per day. Then in 2013, we have been allotted full-time OPD and uh, um, get to away from all other OPD in a radiological de uh, radiology department. Um, slowly, we started our all activity related to um, clinical care and to start uh, teaching activity. Um, we started mobilizing faculty and training the faculties and we uh, in 2015 we got essentiality certificate from government of Gujarat to start department uh, then we received a, a, a certificate of the recognized PG teacher palliative medicine and in 2016 we got uh, affiliation certificate from the university that is Gujarat University and uh, we could apply in 2018 for uh, to the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare for the uh, to start MD Palliative Medicine and got approval in same year August 2018 and our first stage um, in 2019. First bench of resident doctor we were uh, we are given approval for the two seats. So as I just a minute. as I said, we started uh, uh, separate palliative medicine OPD in 2010. Our director declared during the celebration of Hospice Day celebration uh, the project and given responsibility to run OPD to uh, Dr. Geeta Josi. Um, uh, why it is hanging so in 2013 we were given full day opd apart from clinical care of the patient and caregiver we started activity to start for the faculty development so start certificates pc and medical training by the iaca course uh, till date more than 170 candidate had received training on the uh, basic training on palliative care by Indian Association of the Palliative Care and more than 50 candidates for uh, the practical training. We started presentation in various conferences and also invited guests for the lecture. At the same time, we uh, intern and nursing staff uh, we visited our department, started awareness program, taken up the project and started publishing our article. Our main aim was to start MD in palliative medicine. So, so till date, uh, we, ha we have integration with all clinical department, uh, that is surgical, uh, medical oncology, pediatric oncology, surgical oncology. I think Arun, there are backward, some boys are coming. Nisha, please mute everybody's mic except Dr. Spiti's. Now you can go ahead, Dr. Preeti. Nisha, Dr. Preeti's mic is muted. Dr. Preeti, your mic is muted. Preeti, madam, you have to unmute yourself. You have to unmute, Dr. Preeti. Uh, 
हेलो सो अवर डिपार्टमेंट इज फुल्ली इंटीग्रेटेड विथ क्लिनिकल डिपार्टमेंट वी डू वी हैव इंटीग्रेशन विथ रेडियोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट फॉर न्यूरोलाइटिक प्रोसीजर एंड वी लॉट्स डू लॉट्स ऑफ इंटरवेंशन हैव इंटीग्रेशन विथ ओ टी फॉर सेम फॉर द इंटरवेंशनल प्रोसीजर वी हैव लॉट्स ऑफ रेफरेंस फ्रॉम द आई सी यू एम आर डी फॉर द रेकॉर्ड कीपिंग वी हैव कंप्यूटर रेकॉर्ड एंड विथ फार्मसी डिपार्टमेंट फॉर द नार्कोटिक्स Uh, we have networking with other cancer institute in uh, gujarat uh, there are lots of cancer institute in G gujarat and we refer our patient to them and they also refer their patient to us uh, at the same time we started developing various form like uh, form for the pain and palliative care services reference letter for uh, various uh, institute devosa uh, for the awareness program Uh, we have a form uh, in instruction for the dietary advice and for the liquid diet recipe main thing is now we are giving consent form for the opioid prescription and we give one form a copy of prescription to carry with patient for the opioid and the service we are providing is outpatient inpatient hospice care care we have uh, integration with lodge fellowship and we do two, do two to three home visit daily we do uh, interventional procedure not only pain management but we also do lots of palliative care procedure you can see here uh, my resident is uh, inserting uh, uh, a peritoneal catheter for the intermediate drainage of uh, peritoneal fluid and uh, so that patient can send at the home we do plural tapping icd insertion and uh, lots of interventional pain procedure we have continuous supplies of all narcotics morphine methadone fentanyl buprenorphine uh, do lot of uh, uh, academic activity for pgs and ugs and we have started two year fellowship for the student uh, do lots of training i said uh, previously iapc iac um, and uh, training for the basic training for the national program for palliative care um, narcotic training and training to the care giver which is uh, Uh, uh done by the sanjeevani ngo and the other faculty for their uh, uh, candidate do awareness program now we have full time counselor and full time dietitian under department of palliative medicine and so we do uh, this too as i said this year is nodal center for all training by the government of gujarat so is a part of national program for palliative care till date in 14 district it is fully implemented government has recruited 14 medical officer to nursing staff at each district as a part of district cancer control program <clears throat> 18 medical officer from the various phc have been trained for the basic training on the palliative care and in coming week they are coming for the um, training on the medical use of the narcotic uh, for the implementation of the ndps act at gujarat in 2017 we had a opioid availability workshop and in morning session we have lots of discussion with clinician pharmacists and stockists Uh, we discuss what are the issues regarding the availability and in the afternoon we have a um, meeting with a health commissioner and the officers from food and drug control and prohibition department uh, the commissioner have given responsibility uh, to gcri 
uh, to develop policies, SOPs, and make sure there should not be any misuse of the narcotic. So, uh, till date, approximately 42 doctors has received of various institute has received training on the medical use of narcotic. The hospitals uh, include government hospital, corporate hospital, private hospital, and the doctors uh, from the GCRI. And next week we are uh, we have organized two training, one for the government doctors and one from the for the doctors from the corporate hospital. So you can see here most of the area of the Gujarat has a palliative care center. Only this area, the Kutch district is uh, sparing. Uh, so you can see here, GCRI has a five satellite center to develop and government has given responsibility in two center, that is one in North Gujarat and in one in uh, uh, Southwestern Gujarat. We have uh, a trained palliative care physician, both center are RMI center. And in this Kutch uh, um, district, uh, the Adani group has came to uh, develop one center uh, with medical college uh, for the cancer. Why my slide are not moving? Regarding community health worker training, uh, government has given us responsibility to translate in Gujarati and the module has been developed in Gujarati. Uh, has, uh, government has also developed a Teco mobile app for the art worker, community health work officers and for the medical officer. And SOP has been developed by the GCRI or the uh, palliative care specialist from the Gujarat. Regarding non-oncological institute, uh, um, integration with non-oncological institutes, GCRI is situated in the campus where all these other institute has uh, uh, are av available. Um, one is the biggest hospital of his civil hospital, Ahmedabad, uh, Institute of Kidney Hospital, more than 350 bedded hospital. UN Mehta is also more than 300 bed cardiac hospital, TB and Chase Hospital, Spine Institute of Gujarat, uh, Nursing College and Dental Institute is also in the same campus. And all those institutes are affiliated to BJ Medical College. So for regarding integration, we uh, get references from the all institute. Uh, we also send our patient for the um, uh, their uh, opinion. Uh, they send their resident for the uh, rotation uh, for the palliative medicine and uh, our resident already there for the rotation. Best part is one or two faculty from each institute are trained for the uh, palliative medicine. They have done uh, our course Indian of the basic certificate course of the Indian Association of the Palliative Care. So this is uh, what has been done up to till date at Gujarat. Now coming to other part, how to start MD palliative medicine. So this is the document available on the website. Uh, the document contains all information uh, which we need to know about the application. That is instruction to medical college, which college is uh, eligible for the application that is my recognized medical institute or college. Uh, the way to submit application address has been given to the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India. Fee is uh, two lakh for the government institute and four lakh for the non-government institute. And please remember to add GST. We forget to uh, add, um, at GST amount, so we have to uh, give it uh, afterward. And the qualification criteria for the institute is uh, we need to have essentiality certificate, consent of affiliation from the university, and have to provide bank guarantee or bank authorization letter. Uh, 
uh, from a commercial bank for providing additional infrastructure facility for each discipline. Nowadays, um, essentiality certificate is not needed for the application. The sent of appellation has to be signed in fixed format. This format has been given in the document, so you cannot change, no one can change this format. Otherwise, uh, application will be rejected. But to start uh, MD, um, the teacher's eligibility criteria uh, is given under the, uh, on the website under the uh, rules and regulation TEQ. Uh, TEQ for palliative medicine is not available on the website. So we use uh, TEQ for the general medicine. Same way, minimum for the starting MD palliative medicine is not on the website. So we use uh, the criteria for the starting general medicine department. Syllabus is on the website on information desk, college, PG curriculum. Um, so, coming to teacher eligibility, right? Um, one professor, one associate professor, and assistant assistant professor, as well as SR, is uh, required. Uh, this is no uh, guideline release in 2020. Uh, for professor, minimum three years experience of associate professor with three publication. And for associate professor, four year experience as an assistant professor and one publication. And both should be trained for the basic Meeting medical, Let end it. medical education. And both should have a training on the biomedical research. For assistant professor, three years experience as a junior resident and one year SRC in. Uh, palliative medicine has to be done. Uh, for SR, any PG student below 45 years of age is eligible. Uh, as I said, one professor, associate professor, assistant professor, and senior resident preference is to the uh, M, uh, faculty from the MD palliative medicine. But till we have very few faculty or trained doctors from MD palliative medicine in transition period we can have a faculty from general medicine general surgery pediatric anesthesiology psychiatrists from the radiotherapy or from the geriatric department but remember they must have experience of palliative medicine in three years um, paramedical staff need uh, minimum 10 nursing staff up to one senior nursing staff or matron, uh, one medical office, uh, medical social workers or psychologists or counselor uh, must have uh, access to occupation therapy, physiotherapy or trauma <laughs> care clinic. In infrastructure requirement, institutional requirement as prevailing rule of the uh, NMC uh, for the department minimum two to three OPD with two examination table. One should have one procedure room and one counselor room. Uh, inpatient beds 30 of which 10, patient, 10 beds exclusively for the palliative care patient. 10, uh, 8 to 10 beds sharing beds with other specialty and 10 to 12 beds in the hospice. Uh, departmental uh, related to material average daily OPD of 40 to 45 patients, where uh, daily inpatient approximately 25 to 27, and with 80 percent bed occupancy. Uh, should have seminar room for the PG teaching with 25 seating capacity and with the facility of audiovisual aids. Uh, should have separate departmental library and also books uh, uh, subject specific and should have relevant journal in print or in electronic form. Uh, the space requirement for the department is a separate office uh, for secretary 
data entry operator or the attendant the office for the all faculty for their academic and research purpose um, should have duty room for the doctors uh, the resident doctor and should have a room for the paramedical staff uh, equipment the departments shall have adequate number of all such equipment including the latest one necessary for training and as may be prescribed by council <laughs> specialty from time to time but uh, these are the essential equipment should have the uh, department should have that is suction machine nebulizer glucomachine uh, glucometer pulse oximeter lymphedema care equipment and uh, wheelchair and stretcher uh, the curriculum for the md palliative medicine as i said it is available on the website in information desk Uh, the application format is a fixed format it is given in the document one has to submit uh, application in this format only and this has to be submitted by head of the institute or uh, preferably by the dean of the medical college the enclosure are essentiality certificate it today it is not required the document has been uh, recent documents been not released so uh, this is in the document attach a uh, attached copy of essentiality certificate a copy of the consent of affiliation certificate and authorization letter for the bank as well as the a copy uh, attached copy of recognize a copy of institute that is uh, institute is recognized to um, nmc and all copies shall be attested by the registered officer so we can uh, make it attested by dean bjm dean can sign it uh, apart from this enclosure we in included uh, all detail of bj medical college and gcri including general statistic of civil hospital as well as gcri central library of bj medical college gcri and department details of various department of bj medical college civil hospital ikd and all details of institute available in the same campus number of student uh, at bj medical college as well as at gcri for md palliative medicine we have included teachers eligibility criteria infrastructure requirement and training syllabus as uh, because when we have applied this all this uh, details was was not available on the website so we have included this in our application departmental detail last 3 years data uh, related to patient infrastructure bed strength um certificate of uh, or license of essential like uh, narcotics and photographs of department and future we and what we want to do at gujarat uh, uh, all this has been included in the application so this is recent after 2017 one has to do one more uh, procedure the application has to be submit Submitted online uh, at the, on the uh, site of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. This detail is given in separate document. You can see on the website also. Uh, so college has to register for uh, to Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, and then one can upload the uh, application. one important thing i want to say you uh, system accept only one uh, pdf and we need to upload consent of relation and uh, and copy of demand draft so be ready with uh, one pdf of uh, consent of affiliation and demand draft uh, after uploading the application uh, system will give you acknowledgement acknowledgement receipt and this receipt has to be attached with the hard copy and then submit it uh, 
uh, submit half copy in triplet form. So you need to submit three copies of uh, uh, application at the Ministry of Health and uh, Family Welfare Government of India. Achy. After submitting application, Ministry will scrutinize uh, and will take approximately one month or 30 days. Completed application will be submitted to NMC and uh, rejected application to medical college. Um, you, uh, ministry give you chance if uh, you can add one document or you want to correct any document. Uh, otherwise you have, will lose the chance for that year and reapply next year. After receiving application to uh, ministry uh, to MCI, uh, sorry, this is another site at Ministry of Health and Family Welfare where you can upload the application. Uh, so on the application, uh, on the website, you go to the organization in that Department of Health and Family Welfare Medical Education PG course and that you find the, there you find the application uh, system for the medical education. After giving this, uh, after one month, the ministry will send application to NMC and uh, NMC will plan for the inspection within one or two months. By the time one has to be ready with uh, all the document required for the assessment. So uh, this is standard assessment form for the palliative medicine is available on the website on information desk, same declaration from for the faculty is available on the website. Declaration from the, for the resident doctor are also available on the website. Um, so all the detail, uh, one has to be ready with the all detail. Um, we have uh, submitted our application on the last week of the March. We had uh, uh, assessment uh, in uh, July, last week of July and got approval in uh, August 2018 and we, uh, for the two seat for admission in 2019. And you can see my resident doctor at uh, BJ Medical College, within BJ Medical College, this is and at the GCRA, they are welcome very well as the, our branch is you. The roles and responsibility of the uh, department is to maintain certificate. Hello. Is to maintain certificate that is uh, affiliation certificate. University gives affiliation certificate only for one year. So every year you have to um, uh, renew this certificate and it is a very long process. The form is more than 10 days and every year the uh, university asks for the all details of the department and to maintain support from the government and administration of the institute and BJ Medical which is also our responsibility. Integration of honor, uh, department palliative medicine with another oncological department and integration with non-oncological department, involvement of NGO and volunteers. And to be frank, for last four, we need to develop, uh, we need to create awareness to uh, do thing for the education of the all these uh, uh, faculty uh, or the education and to create a repo and relationship throughout the healthcare system is a, uh, I think to my point is, uh, uh, as for my experience, it is the most important thing. Challenging these are, apart from clinical care and tra training of doctors, nursing staff, uh, you are always busy with attending meeting with either with institute or with college or with government for the how to implement and how to arrange a training. Um, 
another is faculty development is one of the big issue for palliative medicine um, you mobilize one faculty and complete all requirement for uh, that faculty and you don't know this will retain for the long time or not and you have to develop another faculty for to complete the department and last one to my point is the creating job opportunity for palliative care specialist is uh, uh, also challenge for us uh, our future vision is to develop palliative care at all our satellite center training of the medical officer of all districts of gujarat developing palliative care center at all non oncological institute in the campus and develop a training in interventional pain management so this is my full department with uh, resident doctor my fellows and nursing staff thank you everyone hello yes thank you priti madam uh, we have some questions uh, shall we take yes. some questions yeah so there is one question uh, yes from the presentation can, uh, can diploma pgs with one year fellowship program certificate from university can hold position as assistant professor in department of palliative medicine this question is from dr arun yeah assistant professor that so uh, the with uh, src i think uh, till date it was not allowed but in recent guideline we have seen as you must have seen in the slide diploma or degree um, with src are eligible for uh, uh, ap so i need to check it and uh, the, i got this uh, guideline before one week so we'll check it whether diploma candidate are eligible or not okay thank you any more questions from the group please put in the chat box there are no more questions as such okay thank you then so just wait uh, one or more, one or two questions might come just uh, hold on for a few minutes sure yeah. so in the meantime i have a question for you so in uh, day to day uh, running of the uh, course what are the challenges that you come across mm. Be, uh, previously when i uh, i joined department in 2015 so first challenge uh, at that time we applied to ministry of health and family welfare in 2016 uh, for the minor uh, mistake in uh, date our uh, this uh, application was rejected in 2017 madam was retired um, so i was alone in the department and we were behind the institute for the faculty we were trying to mobilize faculty from another department but uh, it took almost one year priti uh... madam you have been muted priti madam unmute karna padega sorry sorry arun um i joined department in 2015 and leave the anesthesia behind uh, at that time we in 2016 we applied for the uh, md palliative medicine but uh, because of uh, small mistake our application was rejected in 2017 madam was retired uh, geeta madam so i was alone in the department and we tried to mobilize faculty from another department Uh, in 2017 srenik has joined in my department and uh, i think it has uh, changed uh, attitude of uh, other uh, uh, faculty of the institute uh, now palliative medicine department has a specialist palliative care uh, so i am very much thankful for srenik for that uh, 
uh, then Dr. Bhavna joined and we could uh, apply in 2018. So it took almost two years to complete the department. And uh, second challenge were to um, getting reference to convince other department for this, uh, uh, for uh, referencing. Uh, so after 2017, we started presenting and we uh, present, uh, we started presenting uh, uh, publication uh, and uh, in the clinical meeting or to uh, convince the other medical faculty or other faculties of the institute. We did lots of presentation in clinical meeting and uh, I can enumerate the presentation one panel discussion on the safe use of narcotic. At that time, lots of mismatch in the prescription of narcotics and the expert were um, our seniors and from the other department. Um, we did the next presentation, evidence-based use of the morphine. Then what is NDPH Act? Uh, what is the role of palliative care in different department? How we can integrate our department with other? So uh, it was challenge for me. Uh, every two, three months or six months, I did one presentation. Um, I think uh, <laughs> today we are with all other department. And everyone uh, says, uh, yes, these are palliative medicine department. And now we have, we have been given OPD with all other OPD in between the OPD of the medical oncology. Achha. Thank you, Vidhi Adam. Krishna Adam wanted to say something, I think. There are no more questions. Yes. Oh, so there are no more questions, but uh, thank you, Dr. Preeti, for giving detailed description that how uh, a one person, if he wants to start palliative medicine, they can do uh, what is the process they should follow. So I just want to say one thing that uh, if you want to start something new in your hospital, it is going to be a challenge. And as you have seen that what challenge Dr. Geeta and Dr. Preeti has faced when they were starting Department of Palliative Medicine. Once we start, it is it is like a like a it's a it's a job which of only a committed person who has a really a commitment that I want to start something new in my hospital, and they can start the, the, those people only can start this kind of a, a new department. So uh, so whosoever is listening and want to start department. First, you have to have an attitude. You have to have a commitment that you really want to start this in your hospital. And then you will have to follow the steps because there are n number of steps which you have to follow. Only thing you should be having good knowledge. And once you will start, definitely the hospital, whole hospital and the various departments of your hospital will start recognizing. They will start seeing that what you are doing is definitely beneficial for your patients. And you have to prove every day, as Dr. Preeti says, that every day they have to prove. So which once you will start does not mean that you have started and it will it will go on like this only. It does not happen. So you have to prove every day that the way you are working and with the way you are getting your patients are getting benefited. People will start realizing people will start understanding the importance of this in the day to day or integration of palliative care, they will only realize when you will prove themselves that the way we have integrated the palliative care in your patients and it is getting your patients are getting benefited. The management is becoming easy. The quality of life has improved and definitely there is a big addition in their management plan. So it is going to be a difficult task, but it is not an impossible task because ultimately this is this is definitely required for all our patients. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, we know that basics of palliative care should have been integrated long time back, but we, this this is not good. this is not happening in most of the hospital. So, Dr. Preeti and Dr. Geeta, the the way they have worked hard, and various other hospitals, those who have started MD palliative medicine. Uh, unfortunately, in 2010, a Medical Council of India has recognized MD palliative medicine, but only three hospitals could start right. Till now, 
this is all because uh, there are two reasons there are a lot of administrative hurdles and there is there is also i think that uh, you know when you want to start something you have to work really hard and you have to slog like anything so uh, whether we are really committed to this this is a big question mark once the person who is a leader is committed that i want to start and i want to make a difference in my hospital patient's life then they can start so uh, it is going to be a difficult task tough task but it is again i say it is not impossible and uh, we can see that uh, mm, i just want to uh, just close with this that uh, the way we have started in tmh in all india institute of medical sciences new delhi and gcri and no possibly now uh, mm, uh, manipal kmc manipal will start very soon and various other medical colleges those who are trying they will start very soon i think the uh, it is going to be a most demanding branch with because the whosoever is developing they are developing in a structured way and all uh, as uh, as uh, in aims uh, now all non malignant branches also they want to integrate palliative medicine in their day to day curriculum so it is not only the oncology patient but all other patient branches also needs palliative medicine integration and uh, i wish that all those who are listening this lecture they will get motivated and they will uh, or maybe they are in the already in the process they are halfway through but don't get disheartened uh, our process is also uh, uh, it's not only palliative medicine i think anybody wants to start new course i think it takes a lot of time because the process is very long but if palliative medicine it it will it becomes little long because it's a new branch because you getting teachers is difficult getting staff enough staff is difficult convincing your administration is difficult so maybe it is little tougher but it is not impossible and those who wants to start they can really start it and uh, i know once you will start you will really get a lot of satisfaction and your satisfaction will 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 show uh, to others that yes you can make a difference and uh, i wish that uh, the way uh, gcri and other hospital those who have started worked hard all other medical colleges i think i wish that in next 5 years all the medical colleges of the country will have dedicated department of palliative medicine and uh, we will uh, be able, we will be able to give holistic care to our patients in whole of the country thank you very much dr preeti